Hi folks, and there he is, the Maverick Air, up in the sky with the strobes flashing, and doesn't it look great? And there's two sets of strobes on this. I use them when I go out for night flying, and to be honest, it's a fantastic setup. You can see this for about two miles, and you can't really go wrong with it. So here's the first one, it's 21.99 from Amazon. Overall, when I go out of the box, I wasn't really impressed with the quality. It's a cheap plastic housing, but it's a bit disappointing. As you can see, it's got the, the windows around the side, so to whatever direction you're looking at it, you can see the strobe flashing away. Obviously, once the drone is up in the air, you're not going to be able to see this flashing light on the top. You know, it's just for making other aircraft aware that there's a drone below. It does state that this should run for about four and a half hours, but I did find after an hour and a half, it had it. The light goes dim. For the money, I don't think it's great. You're probably better off going to eBay and buying some cheap plastic ones for six quid. But this is the best one. This is the V-Fly. Now, I've got two of these, and I'm really quite impressed with them. As you can see, really, it's just a circuit board with a battery, LEDs, and a USB charging port. I mean, personally, I would like it more if it come with a case, so it was built in. But it doesn't really matter. As you can see, it's wrapped up in uh, like a clear plastic, so it protects the circuitry on it. So I'm really not sure how long these will last, but I feel like they'll be okay. Um, the USB-C charging point is really quite solid. To activate the strobe light, you have to hold down the switch. I have found this a little bit fiddly, and sometimes you have to give it a couple of goes, but I think it really is a bit of a knack to it. So with regards to weight, they come in at 7 grams, although it's stated that they're 6, but you might want to consider this if you're sticking on a mini drone. You don't want to go over the weight limit. The amount of light these push out really is quite intense, you know. The colours are really, really vivid. It's easy to change the colours. You can go from white, green and red. It's easy to change the colours and the patterns by quickly clicking on the button. Right, this is how I attach them. I don't really trust the Velcro when it comes to mounting the strobes on the arms. So what I do is I secure them down with um, elastic bands. Just wrap them around a couple of times, just like that. And there's no way they're ever going to come off. I'm going to contradict myself a little bit here. The top strobe is just mounted with Velcro. Uh, there was no real place for me to put an elastic band so there you go, there's a close-up. The elastic bands are going between the LED lights themselves on the on the strobe. So just make sure you bear that in mind. So there it is, there's the setup. So we use outside. I make sure that I set the green for the back and the red for the front and the white on the top. That way it matches the drone's default layout on the arms. There it is flying. Look at that. I should mention that the V-Fly strobes do last for about three hours once they hit that mark they start to dim and up it goes the auxiliary light will go off and there you go you can see it really 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 well now i've edited this next bit a little bit so there you go 100 foot 200 foot and nearly 400 foot and you can see it absolutely fine here it comes again now i have flown this out to about 2000 foot and i can still see it really really well in fact now let's do a 360 around it, as you can see, lovely drone. But those lights are banging. Look at them go. You really wouldn't need much more than this. Uh, and apparently the V-Fly ones underneath are approved by the FAA in America. I'm not sure if that's the same for the UK, but they're definitely bright. So if you're looking to do a bit of uh, night flying with your drone, get some of those stunning shots, then I would recommend you get the V-Fly strobes. Now, like I said, I paid 30 quid for two of them. They're hanging off the bottom there. And I think they're really, really good value for money. Now, you wouldn't really need much more than that. You can see these from a long way off. So I would say the V-Fly strobes are definitely worth having. Um, there are loads and loads of different strobes you can buy out there. Some are cheap, some are expensive. But I, I found these to be pretty good. Just be careful what you buy because, you know, there's a lot of people out there ready to rip you off. So... I would really stick with a known brand such as V-Fly. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give us a comment, and I'll answer some questions if you've got any. Bye for now.